Well, here is a thought-provoking quote from my next guest today, Kurt Smalley. He says, when communities understand more about bullying and who does it, they can help prevent it. Kirk Smalley is the co-founder of Stand for the Silent. Good morning. Good morning. So, Kirk, uh, you and your wife have a painful story, and you've taken that pain uh, into now creating this foundation to help other parents who have lost children uh, due to bullying. So tell us what your organization is doing to get materials, information, education out into the community. Well, um, after we lost our son, Ty, back in 2010, uh, we started going around to any schools that would invite us and doing uh, presentations and kind of raising awareness about suicide and, and bullying. Um, to date, we have been to over 6,000 schools. We've talked to a little over 4 million kids. We leave resources at, at each school and community that we go to that aren't only for the schools and the staff, but for the students and the parents as well. You know, um, cyberbullying has has seen a huge increase since the pandemic, and uh, a lot of parents don't know how to how to combat that if their child's being bullied on social media. And so we leave resources uh, teaching them what to do about that type of thing. Um, you know, we have scholarship programs. We have uh, a back to school backpack program that we we donate uh, backpacks full of school supplies to any kid in need that, that reaches out to us and, and wants one. Uh, we even do an unpaid school lunch program uh, to help kids, you know, that are are uh, unable to their parents who are unable to pay for their school lunches. Um, you know, we're just trying to raise awareness um, about suicide and, and, and the effects that bullying can have. But let's talk a bit about the sort of, uh, it's a list, of, if you will, of reasons that kids may bully and, and how that uh, can help people understand, parents and teachers understand ways they can identify it and helpfully prevent it. Sure. Um, you know, a lot of times kids become bullies because they're being bullied. Uh, they may be bullied at home from uh, an older sibling or a parent or another family member. You know, bullying is not a something that we're born to be. It, it's a learned behavior and we learn it from the people that are, are we're around more often. Um, you know, a lot of uh, bullies become that way you know, because they're treated that way. And they, they think that by passing that pain down, that they'll get rid of it. And that, that's actually not the case, you know. Uh, they may have family issues. They may have uh, peer influences hanging around with the wrong crowd. Uh, school climate has a lot to do with it, you know, whether a, a school is very proactive in preventing bullying. Uh, Community climate is another one, you know, does your community, you know, condone such behavior, that type of thing. Kurt, can you send our viewers to a website to learn more about the work of your foundation? Um, our website is www.standforthesilent.org. Um, we also have a, a new website. It does still belong to Stand for the Silent, but it deals strictly with cyberbullying. And we've launched a new one called socialbullets.org that, ha that has a lot of information, resources, a uh, downloadable guide for parents if their kid's being bullied online, tells them step by step, you know, the steps that they need to take uh, on what to do to, to stop it. Kurt Smalley, thank you so much for the work you do. Thank you. And we'll have more local lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.